Hey Soul Friend, Soul Fam. It is Marie Shashet here <laughs> and I am here with your Gemini monthly reading for May 2020. Your May love reading will be posted next week so stay tuned for that. But right now this is all about you Gemini, all right? And the overall energy this month is going to be focused on accepting all the parts of yourself, okay? I create my reality, and today I choose to accept all parts of my being. This is your mantra this month. So whenever you feel yourself shifting a little too off center, a little too off path, repeat this to yourself. I create my reality, and today I choose to accept all parts of my being please do check your sun moon and rising signs for more clarification on what to expect this month okay your first tarot card is the three of swords okay so during this month of may during may you may feel or or already feeling a bit of like this silver cloud, this gray cloud that is just hovering over you. You may feel this past pain, past hurt that has kind of just accumulated and is just weighing really heavy on your heart. You might, you might find yourself feeling a bit self I want to say self depreciating almost as if like you're you have a lot of self doubt almost as if you're just you've stopped accepting yourself you've started to become your own worst enemy okay but as a gemini sorry not that card yet let's look at the underside of the deck okay we have the chariot you know who you are, right? You know, as a Gemini, you stand so tall. You are so free. You, you flow, you know, you, you typically, you know, you embrace all that you are. But during this month, you may find yourself finding that a bit difficult, okay? To just embrace everything that you are standing tall in your power you know and like i said if you find yourself doing that repeat that mantra i create my reality and today i choose to accept all parts of my being not just the things that i love but also the things that i don't love about myself okay it's understanding that there are going to be times where i'm going to feel down i'm going to you know not feel as though I am the best version of myself and that's okay. But you need to, you know, 10, 10 of wands in reverse, release that burden, release that burden on yourself of not being good enough, of not doing enough. Okay. Because at the end of the day, everyone is doing the best they can, including me. This is another thought for this month for you, Gemini. Everyone is doing the best they can, including me, okay? Putting unnecessary pressure on yourself this month is unnecessary. And this month is really all about accepting where you are right now, accepting who you are right now and understanding, okay, I can grow from this place. I don't have to beat myself up. I don't have to stay in this, you know, vibration of pain. I can climb out of it. I can stand tall because I am. I know my true power. And in order to tap into that, you do have to accept all the parts of your being. If you are in constant conflict with yourself, if you're in constant conflict with the people around you, it is very difficult for you to channel that inner power to stand tall and to really just not allow the things that other people do to affect you. Because when you're in conflict with yourself and then somebody comes around and then 
you know, they say something to you that you don't like, you're not able to, you're not able to let that roll off your shoulders like a Gemini normally does. You know, somebody says something to you that you don't like, you're like, I know who I am. I know how wonderful I am. This month, you need to remember that power. And when people come towards you, because this may happen, that people are coming at you, you know, from online, in person, doesn't matter, at work, if you're still able to go to work right now, it doesn't matter. Whether it's yourself coming at yourself, you know what I mean? Because we can sometimes be our worst enemies. And when that happens, when that happens, we're unable to, we're unable to accept the way that other people's, that other people are. Okay, because at the end of the day, other people are going to be their way, right? And we're going to be our way, but our way shouldn't be stooping down to their level. It should be rising above. It should be celebrating who we are at all times. It should be not, not accepting and being influenced by the criticism of others. And if we spend all of our time criticizing ourselves, right? Not feeling as if we are doing enough, that we are enough, that we have enough. When these situations come into our lives, external situations, we're not able to, our shield is down. We're not able to stand tall. We fall instead. We fall to the feet of others. We fall at the feet of others. We we lower our vibration. So this month, it is about accepting all the parts of yourself. It's about looking in the mirror and going, you know what, I don't like this about myself, but I'm going to learn to love this about myself. I'm going to accept it. I may not love it, but I accept this about myself and I'm actively working on changing it. I'm actively working, fighting to change the things about myself that I don't like fighting to accept the things about myself that I do not like right now. I'm not going to be my worst enemy because so many people in the world are not going to love me the way that I deserve to be loved. So I need to love myself. I need to accept myself so that I can stand up to any external disturbance, any challenge that life presents me. Okay. Right now, I want to say another another tarot, I mean, another oracle card that you got was know your limits, Gemini, this month of May. Know how much you can give and know when to say no. Okay, putting your needs first is not selfish, it is essential. And this month is all about you. It is all about prioritizing your mental health, your physical health health in general because if you're beating yourself up if you are remembering all of that past pain all that past hurt what somebody did to you two years ago last week yesterday you are depleting your soul power and that's not what you need you need to stand tall you need to fuel yourself the same way that we every single day right every single day before we go to bed, we plug our phones and we, we charge our phones. The same way that we charge our phones is the same way we need to charge ourselves before going out into the world. And that's before getting on social media, you know, that's before going and talking to anybody, that's before interacting with anybody. You need to charge yourself like you would your cell phone. Because we all know what happens when we go out into the world and our cell phone hasn't been charged the night before. It doesn't work as effectively. We're the same way. We have to charge ourselves. This month, it is about, you know, sitting with yourself and digging up those, you know, that shadow self, those things about yourself that you've just been pushing to the side, 
those are the things this month that you need to accept, that you need to bring into the light and learn to accept that. And that is you accepting all parts of your being so that no matter what anybody says to you or what anybody does to you, doesn't matter. You are, you accept yourself. You don't need acceptance from anybody else. And when you reach that, that state, you are truly wholeheartedly free. When you reach a state of self-love, when you reach a state of self-acceptance, self-respect, you don't need anything from anybody. That past pain, it goes away. You let go. You understand that what those people did had nothing to do with you. It was their perception. It was their anger. It was about them. The only thing you can do is love yourself, forgive that person, and move forward. That's what this month is for you. It's standing tall in your own power and accepting those things that just have, you've taken, you know, and taken so long to just acknowledge things that you've ignored about yourself, that you've pushed to the back burner. It is accepting those things. It's about having patience with yourself. Nine of cups in reverse. Do not become impatient with yourself. If you feel as though I'm not good enough, I'm not doing enough, you know, that's impatience. Love yourself. Be patient with yourself when it comes to loving yourself, accepting yourself, but work towards that. Don't run away from that. Don't brood and sulk. No, stand up. Stand up. The chariot, stand up. Sorry. Remember who you are. Remember that people are going to be their way. People are going to be their way. Absolutely nothing you can do about that. What you know, what you know, what you do have, what you can do something about, what you have control over, being your way. And if you just match that person's energy, then that person won. If that person is just in constant conflict, yelling and screaming and causing pain, it's because that person is in pain. But if you come down to that level of pain, they won. No, no. You remember who you are. You have patience. And you stand tall. You don't let their words affect you. Somebody may may hurt you physically, but you decide who hurts you emotionally. You decide. And if you're sitting at home and you're hurting yourself, then you're at a battle. You're in battle with yourself. And that's got to stop. You have to change that internal dialogue within yourself because if you're yelling at yourself inside and somebody comes from the outside and is yelling at you, it just magnifies what you've already been telling yourself. So you're not able to, you don't have any strength in that situation. So you fall every single time. Three of swords. More swords going into your heart, not only from people outside, but from your own self, okay? And this month, accept yourself work on loving yourself you do create your reality so today choose every day choose to accept all the parts of your being fight for that fight to let go of that victim mentality eight of swords reversed let that victim mentality go you are not a victim you are not a victim you are the leader and you are the creator Nobody has control over you. If somebody put cha puts chains on you, it is because you have allowed them to. And if somebody is trying to put chains on you, cut it off. Two of cups in reversed. Cut those ties with anyone who is trying, who is, you know, who is not for your highest self. We all go into situations with people and we feel their energy first. That's the first thing you need to notice about someone. Before you notice what they're wearing, how their body language is, how they look, just focus on their vibration, focus on their energy. And if their energy 
is not good for you, you don't need to be there. You do not need to be there. This month for you is about cutting those ties. It's about not letting your emotions overpower you. King of Cups in reverse. And staying truly, truly, truly balanced here. You are such a beautiful soul, Gemini. I love my Geminis because you have like, it's two different personalities in one. You have two faces, but they're so in sync with each other. And at times you can be self-brooding. You can be prone to self-doubt, but that only takes away your happily ever after when you do that. It takes away your strength. It takes away everything that you've worked for. And that's not what we're here to do. Accept the parts of yourself. Accept them. You know, take time in nature. Take the time to get into nature. Take a walk and put your feet in the grass and connect to the earth's powers sacred space this month is all about creating that sacred space around you creating that sacred space within you and having those powerful thoughts changing that internal dialogue within yourself gemini nobody deserves to walk around with so many swords in their heart nobody deserves to constantly think about that hurt because when you worry or when you relive something or when you think about something, you are reliving it once again. Don't relive past pain and don't inflict that pain on yourself. I create my reality and today I choose to accept all parts of my being. Okay, Gemini, you are doing enough, you have enough, and you are enough. If you need to say it yourself, say it with me. I am enough. I am doing enough. I have enough. I'm doing enough. I have enough. I am enough. Remember that this month, okay? Stand tall in your power. You are the chariot. Channel that willpower. Channel that strength that you have. Go out into nature if you need to and just absorb that power that mother earth has for us all around us this month is about remembering who you are and accepting all the parts of yourself acceptance is your word this month gemini okay that is all i have for you do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button buy me a bottle of kombucha if you wish and subscribe to our soul family if you haven't already thank you so so much for watching i love you stay safe balanced and healthy and as always i will see you in the next one Bye bye